You want I, goss. I can I see want, you. Yeah. You want to go I, deep. I'm going like, we've done some hot movies. We're a hot movie star. Who have we been banging on the sets along the way? Well, okay, well I fell in on. love with Riley, didn't I? Riley Keogh on Magic Mike. That's and I was, right. I was engaged to her. You were? I didn't like, know you were engaged. And you know what? She, and <laughs> This now, does everyone know who she is? She's related to Elvis Presley. Yeah, she's. No, uh, I mean I know, but I'm just. She the was listener. his uh, granddaughter, right? But um, she uh, she was the first woman in my life that I fell in love at first sight. Wow! And you know what? She had this fucking crazy pink, purple hair, and I was doing um, uh, a costume fitting. Okay. And I came out. I was like in tracksuit bottoms and like. Uh, tracksuit bottoms. Yeah, tracksuit bottoms and like no a shirt hoodie. on. Ah, and the shirt was on. Yeah, no, the shirt was off. <laughs> okay, on. No, the hoodie was open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, right. uh, and uh, I looked across the field, and she looked at me, and I can't explain it. It's like I just I remember it, and I looked across, and we hadn't even said anything. I just looked at her, and she looked at me. I was like, wow. I was right. like, I think I'm in fucking love with this right. I didn't know who it was right. I was like I didn't know she was a part of the film right. I, I, oh like, really she, no she, and she had this crazy purple pink hair right. and she came over and she's like hi I'm Riley I'm, I'm you know blah blah blah, blah. and like yeah I, f- I fell in love with her and we were dating before we even started filming how long were you together I was 21 two and a bit years and you know what? Do you want to hear something really tragic? Yes, always. I was terrified of flying. And I did not go and visit her when she was making Mad Max. And that, 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 that was partially some of the reason why in Hollywood I had a little bit of problem as well because it would take so much out of me to fly. Right. I, I, I had such a phobia, which is so crazy because now all I do is live on a plane. Right. But I... I Years later, well, actually about three years ago, I said, this is ruining my life. I have to get over this phobia. Right. And did I, you do something specific? Yeah, I, I did transcendental meditation. Okay. And I read and I just like, I was ready, you know. I, I had had so much trauma in my life as a young boy that had given me so much anxiety. And I would step on a plane and be claustrophobic and not want to fly or not want to travel and felt very out of body. And over the years, you know, one of the people that really... You know, and I love her to this day. You know, great gave me great grounding was Riley. You know, 